Today we will talk about the best rotation strategy and the best build for Monkey Sun. Let's go. Just for the thrill of it. Nothing kind of it with you. Just the thrill of it. Just for the thrill of it. Nothing kind of it. Hey yo guys, how's everybody doing? This is your guy Assassin Dave. Welcome back to the Foreign Famous once again. Today we'll talk about the Rotate Like a God featuring Monkey Sun. And if you haven't liked, subscribe and turn the bell on, make sure to smash and destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's quickly jump into today's video. Oh, and remember to re-download your Mobile Legends with the link in the description for 20% extra diamonds. Alright guys, welcome to the gameplay and here is the build. We're gonna go ahead and start with Ice Retribution. This Retribution is gonna help you slow target down when you jump on them and you can so you can kill them better. It's really good for Monkey, and this is the build. Uh, I'm actually gonna go for Warax first item. It allows me to take down towers fairly fast. Starting off the rotation, guys. I usually start the same side as the River Pokemon, right? If the Pokemon spawns on the right side, I will start at the right side. I'm gonna go ahead and move to the Pokemon because I have Retro. Remember, I made a Tips and Tricks video talking about the spawn timer that they have changed. If you don't know, if you don't know about this yet, make sure to check out the latest, latest Tips and Tricks video. We talk about. And also the 11 things you might have missed about Project Next. Very, very important video. This game, let's take a look at the possible openings right here. It does seem like our top lane is doing all right. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take all this to get ourselves level four. And the reason why I go the cooldown boots, no, nah, I'm definitely not gonna go bottom. But at the same time, if you don't go bottom, you are given Argus free farm all game, and that just might be risky. It's Still, helping the lane that's losing in MOBA is a huge mistake. This guy was asking him to jungle, and then when you didn't give him jungle, because he was last pick, he decided to, you know, play like trash. Alright. Let's have our clone do the job for me. There we go. And now, remember, I have 20% extra damage to Tower and Turtle, so you can see right now, like, I'm doing an incredible, I'm taking the tower with incredible speed. Yeah, there we go. It's gone just like that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do turtle because I see three people bottom side. You just gotta gauge where enemies are and then make decision accordingly. Including Aurora, including um, their their uh, marksman, their Bruno, they're all bottom. So, and then your monkey, you can do this stuff really, really fast. So, there we go. And I'm gonna kinda stay top because there's the tower is one shot away from death. There's no reason for me to leave right now. Six seconds on my ultimate. Let's quickly take this down. All right. Do some damage to him. The slow from Eve is absolutely disgusting though. They have four people here. All right, ignore them, leave. And it's time to take a, take a tour in our jungle, right? Okay. I don't think Diggy knows that. He definitely need to check the the patch notes. I don't think he knows that the uh, you know the martyr strategy doesn't work anymore. If you get assist, you are considered a normal goal. So if you if you feed again, you're gonna give enemy 200 gold per pop, and that's a lot of gold. So we just got the tower down like within two three minutes, right? Within three minutes actually, because we we took the turtle down, and then now they have a lot to a bottom lane again. Saber just died. Um, Diggy, I'm trying to wait for this guy to proc his old passive. I'm gonna get this real quick. Unfortunately, Selena killed herself. I still have a minute to to possibly take down the bottom tower. I think I can. All I have to do is go in like this. Nice job. Chow is definitely the winning token right here. All right, let's activate our shadows and stuff and do power. Ignore. Okay. And I'm ready to, to kill him at any time. Okay, Saber didn't block him or use ultimate. I know, I, I think he might not have it, but uh, it's whatever. So we just take another uh, complete shield off, and then we took a tower, we got, his ult we got Argus ultimate. Um, so it's pretty good. Mid, mid tower is a full gold, but um, full gold plate. But I can't get to that. I don't have ultimate. If I had ultimate, I could have done some damage. But right now, I don't have it. So let's farm our blue. Farm our jungle real quick. Alright. 
Throws my shadow. My objective is always just to push towers. You know, so you can see me pushing lane right now, but this pushing lane is just to push towers. Use my retreat and then get out. The bottom lane is really is dead weight, huh? Let's see what Argus does. It's quite unfortunate. Ruby is bottom lane too. Look at the minimap all the time. You gotta make your decisions based on minimap. Alright. Secure number one. Let's throw some damage on them. Secure number two. And he just got a kill. That's unfortunate. So, um, what I can do, obviously, is try to get this wave real quick. They do have a, they do have a Eve here, which I'll ignore. All right, one more skill three, and you should be dead. All right, I'm out. Tower. Again, twenty percent tower damage. So. We can see at the end of the game, the thing about playing monkey solo queue, you gotta focus on your strength. Your strength with this emblem, a uh, specific emblem that is called Mage Killer. I don't know why it's called a Mage Killer though. Nothing to do with killing mages. I'm just killing towers. Well, I kill some mages, but. You know. Again, he's still the turtle. Imagine a Saber who is 1 4, and then the only kill he got is a KS and still the turtle. I don't know why you even attempt this. It. Like, oh, I'm just helping. No, you don't, I don't need your help. You're just dealing the turtle. Next item is going to be Dominus Ice. Dominus Ice is going to stop Argus from healing a little bit. And then stop Ruby from healing a little bit, obviously. And at the same time, it's going to stop uh, Bruno from healing. Look at this attack bug, though. Like, I gotta say, dude. Like, Mobile Legend, after the update, have so more bugs than before the update. You know, with all the stuff that they changed, I even prefer without the update. I'm not joking. You know, I'm going to try to block him. You see what I did there? I tried to block his uh, escape path uh, so he doesn't jump away. That's what Saber is supposed to do just now when I caught him without his ultimate. But no, this guy, um, I don't think he understands how the game works. Probably played the game for the first time in a mythical glory rank. So, makes sense, makes sense. Alright, let's quickly do the tower right here. You can engage with skill 2 always, by the way. <laughs> I'm gonna ignore them. He doesn't have his ultimate again. 20 seconds on Lord, and I'll do that. So, right here. This is how you do towers, okay? Use your skill too, so tower doesn't ag ag aggro you. Even without minions, look. Because of the Mage Killer emblem, you can do towers without any minions. Which is, which is absurd, right? Which is absolutely absurd. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do my blue buff real quick. And do Lord right after. Okay. There we go. Alright, get our clones right here. And I'll show you obviously how, how fast we can take down this lord. The total the total time it takes probably is less than 5 seconds. And by the way, I have in-game chat turn off, right? So I don't talk to my team. When you play solo queue, it's much better just to stay quiet. I don't talk to the team, I just give them signals, and I don't want to listen to any chat. Because just assume everybody's stupid. That's all you need to do. Alright, DHS. Again, everything I do is help me end the game, right? Push objectives in the game. And I, I clear jungle all the time. Make sure I get the maximum amount of resources every time I have the opportunity to. So our mid lane without me, just uh, team without me, just end up dying real quick. Good job surviving right there. So let me see if I can. Alright, that's one. Let's go ahead and push this. Oh, the minion died too fast. Okay. Let's do this tower in three seconds. Why not? Should I end the game? I think I should end the game. Yeah, let's end the game. I can end, and then they can't do anything to me. 
This is how you play monkey, right? Because you can't trust your teammates. You saw what happened with that saber. So you just got to play to your advantage. Look at this total overall score. You got obviously some guy who's asking for jungle who didn't get it. Ended up going 3-5-3 as a saber. And then absolutely doing nothing. Chaos three kills and cast the turtle. You got this Danny guy on the diggy who never, who obviously do not know about the, the changes and still win the martyr strategy a little bit. So... I saw the Chao was winning his lane. If he's winning, follow up, right? Go help out. And then you can look at total tower damage we did. Ladies and gentlemen, we did 83%. 83% tower damage was 24% hero damage also it's not like we're not doing hero damage right we're still participating in those team fights our total uh, overall team fight participation is obviously not that high because we're mainly focused on split push you can see that from the tower damage and the damage taken this is the way you want to abuse your emblem this is the way you want to abuse monkey king make sure to split push as much as you can and then wrap around the team fight and you know flank them so with that if you enjoyed this video smash the like for the youtube algorithm without a sensitive signing off see you guys next time bye now just for the thrill of it